Dear children, welcome to the next session on the chapter Chemical Coordination and Integration. In this module, we are going to learn about the next endocrine gland called as adrenal gland. Adrenal gland, there is a pair of adrenal gland in our body and it is present on uh, the top of each kidney just like a cap over a kidney. Okay, So this is the adrenal gland, the position of the adrenal gland. Each adrenal gland is having two portions. They are called as the adrenal cortex and the second part is called as the adrenal medulla. The adrenal cortex, it represents the outermost part. The outermost, this is a cross section of the adrenal gland. The outermost part is called as the adrenal cortex, whereas the inner part is called as the adrenal medulla. So both adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla is involved in the secretion of hormones which is needed for the regulation of metabolism in our body. So let us learn about the hormones secreted by the adrenal cortex. The adrenal cortex which is the outermost region of the adrenal gland is in turn divided into three layers. They are called as the outer zona glomerulosa, the middle zona fasciculata, and inner zona reticularis okay so these are the three layers the innermost is called as a zona reticularis the middle is called as a zona fasciculata and the outermost is called as a zona glomerulosa these three layers it produces the corticoid hormones what are these corticoid hormones Corticoid hormones is mainly a group of more than 40 organic compounds, 40 organic compounds which are secreted by the adrenal cortex of the adrenal gland and they belong to the steroid family. They belong to the steroid family. What are these steroids? Steroids are again biologically active organic compounds. They are biologically active organic compounds and they have a four ring structure. And these four rings, they are organized in a specific configuration. They have a specific molecular configuration. The four rings are arranged in a specific um, configuration. So that is called as steroids. So these corticoids come under the steroids. Okay, so they are organic compounds. They are biologically active compounds, organic compounds. So the main corticoids are the glucocorticoids and the mineralocorticoids. The glucocorticoids, they mainly involve the cortisols. And the mineral corticoids, they involve the aldosterone. In addition to these corticoids, it also releases another hormone called as the androgenic corticoids. Okay, so the three types of corticoids are the glucocorticoids, the mineral corticoids and the uh, androgenic corticoids. So let us first learn about the glucocorticoids, which is secreted by the adrenal gland or the adrenal cortex. The main functions of the glucocorticoids are it uh, is involved in carbohydrate metabolism that is breakdown of carbohydrates into simpler compounds and how it is being assimilated and utilized. It uh, stimulates gluconeogenesis, lipolysis and proteolysis. Proteolysis means breaking down of proteins that is protein metabolism, uh, breaking down of proteins into peptides and amino acids, simpler forms of proteins. Lipolysis means it is um, a method to mobilize a stored form of energy. Breaking down of uh, lipids is called as lipolysis. So uh, we know lipids or fats is stored in the fat adipocytes. So when lipolysis takes place, it is a uh, uh, it is a method or it is a process to mobilize a stored form of energy when we are undergoing a fasting or when we are undergoing a rap, uh, uh, immense exercise. Okay, so as to release the energy. Okay, so in order to release a mobilize a stored form of energy. So breaking down of lipids into fatty acids and glycerol is called as uh, lipolysis. Now what is this gluconeogenesis? We have learned of glucogenesis, production of glucose, okay, from carbohydrate sources called as uh, glucogenesis. But what is this gluconeogenesis? Gluconeogenesis can be just translated as production of new glucose and when it is produced, glucose is produced from a non-carbohydrate carbon source is called as gluconeogenesis. What are these non-carbohydrate sources? It can be the lactate, glycerol, 
all these are the non carbohydrate source so when glucose is generated or produced from this such non carbohydrate source is called as gluconeogenesis so it is involved in carbohydrate metabolism by stimulating the gluconeogenesis it's also bringing about a lipolysis and proteolysis it inhibits the cellular uptake and utilization of amino acids okay so that the amino acids is not taken up okay it inhibits the cellular uptake and utilization of amino acids it maintains cardiovascular system and the functioning of the kidneys cortisol it also stimulates the production of the erythrocytes or the red blood cells it produces anti inflammatory reactions and suppresses our immune response we know what is an immune response or what is an inflammation do you know what is an inflammation the biological response given to such harmful stimuli is called as inflammation so it produces anti inflammatory reactions so as to suppress the immune responses usually the uh, inflammation or inflammatory responses is given mainly by the immune system or immune cells so this suppresses the immune uh, responses is glucocorticoids in in certain conditions uh, it suppresses the immune response so as to produce anti inflammatory reactions no inflammation is given next is the mineralocorticoids the second type of corticoids is called as a mineralocorticoids it regulates the water that is a body fluid volume in our body and the electrolytic balance i told you electrolyte is charged minerals okay so electrolytic balance the osmotic pressure and blood pressure okay so all these are maintained by the mineralocorticoids and uh, the aldosterone we have studied about aldosterone in the chapter excretion okay excretion in uh, human beings how the aldosterone increases the glomerular filtrate rate okay whenever there is a decrease in the body fluids so aldosterone it stimulates the reabsorption of sodium that is electrolytes and water from the renal tubules and excretion of the potassium and phosphate ions so that's it is bringing about secretion and also reabsorption and uh, the third type of corticoids is the androgenic corticoids androgenic on that is mainly the androgens hmm, for growth of uh, the axial hair pubic hair and the facial hair during puberty that is it is bringing about the secondary sexual uh, the um, expression of secondary sexual characters at the time of puberty whenever there is a deficiency of these corticoids uh, it affects the carbohydrate metabolism we learned that the main function is to bring about uh, carbohydrate metabolism so the carbohydrate metabolism is affected when there is a deficiency of these corticoids and it causes acute weakness and fatigue we feel very weak and this condition is called as the addison's disease so there is an impairment of the carbohydrate metabolism resulting in weakness and fatigue which is called as the addison's disease so dear children in this module we learned about the first part of the adrenal gland that is the adrenal cortex which releases three types of corticoids the glucocorticoids the mineral corticoids and the androgenic corticoids and the functions exhibited by all these hormones we also learned that the deficiency of the corticoids results in a disease called as or a disorder called as the addison's disease thank you